what's good y'all it's Akira here back with another video guys today this is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time and it's super exciting I'm going to be making home decor items with my Cricut Maker 3 I'm so excited to show you guys how I make a super modern pillowcase in a DIY wood sign that you haven't seen before and I think that you would really really like so without further ado let's get into the video I also want to give a big shout out to Cricut and thank them for sponsoring today's video so without further ado let's just get into it So I'm doing something I've never done before. Um, one is working with my make my new Maker 3. Very excited to get this going. And I'm also going to be using chipboard, heavy chipboard, to make a sign, a home decor sign. Um, I'm very excited about this and you guys are going on this journey with me. Um, so without further ado, let's get into making. So I got my chipboard. Um, Cricut recommends you use the strong grip mat and then also to put it down with some electrical tape. Um, or some whatever tape. I don't have that. I just have like the frog tape. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I'll show you guys my design and what I have an idea of what I'm going to be making. This is super exciting because this material I feel like is really awesome to make signs and more permanent type of uh, signage and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. I'm doing something very on trend. Arch sign kind of thing and I'll show you how I put it all together also I forgot to mention for this you're going to need the knife blade um, because this is the one that can actually cut through the chipboard so I'm going to be installing that into my maker 3 as well So I went ahead and uploaded my arch shape into the design space and I made it 10.75 inches by 10.75 inches because the chipboard is 11 by 11. Um, I selected on mat and made sure that I got everything ready to go ahead and put send the material through the Maker 3. I also selected the chipboard material which they already had preset. Um, I went with the default settings and it worked pretty well. So I'll show you how the screen, which I think is really cool, how it works when you do chipboard and it shows you how many passes it has to make and it also shows you how long it's going to take to create your item. Awesome is now it asks you like if your cut looks good or if you need to cut more and honestly I just checked the ends and she looks so good so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and let's reveal together because this is my first time doing this so let's see how well let me put my phone my, my phone my camera on the tripod and then we'll try this again okay the moment of truth <gasps> yay <laughs> Guys, it came out perfect. Arches are like such a thing right now. People are putting them in their homes, their decor, all types of things. So I can't wait to show you guys what I'm gonna make with this. Here I am just painting this, the chipboard. I picked a mint paint up from Joann's and I just gave it about two coats. The chipboard took the paint really well um, to give it the overall color that I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm using this stand here. Um, I bought two of them. I already broke the little a gate thing off of this one. Um, so I have these two tans. I have um, Beachcomber Beige. This is from Walmart. And then I have Desert Sand. Um, I don't know if I'm going to mix them or just try to use one or the other. But I'm going to paint the base of this. Um, and then the, the poles so that I can use that on the backing. Um, I have a, like, in my mind, this is going to look so good. So, you know the vibes. So, here's the last part of my chipboard cutout. Um, so, this came out pretty good. What I would recommend is when you're using the chipboard, only really focus on like big products 
Um, I tried to cut out like small letters to fit across here and it just didn't work um, with the chipboard. So definitely stick to like larger cutouts or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint this like a, I showed you guys, I already painted my base. I haven't assembled it just yet, but got my base, I got my arch here. And as you can see, the art is coming together. It's coming together, I like the vibes. And then have this cute little flower that's gonna be over here and then with vinyl, I'm just gonna cut out some letters. So I went ahead and painted the flower. Um, I didn't end up going with this orange color and I repainted it pink, but you guys will see that later once I put the final object together. Okay, so initially what I was going to do was cut out the letters and chipboard as well so they would like stand off from the base, but I don't think with Cricut, cutting small intricate things is the best option on the chipboard. So what I did was I used my uh, Joy and I cut out the letters in this like beautiful metallic color. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed that, get this on. I'm going to attach the flower because it still hasn't been attached. And then I'm gonna assemble the entire sign. And get this down first. I'm loving your vibe. You know I'm loving your vibe. Make sure that G is stuck down. <laughs> then you just nicely remove it. Oh, how beautiful is that? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put my flower on first before I place the sparkles. Um, and I'm just gonna be using some hot glue, a glue gun here. I'm just gonna put some hot glue, not too much so that it doesn't spill out over the sides. Got two webs right here, so I'm gonna pop those off real quick webs in the middle then make sure it's even I'm gonna stick it right in the middle then I went ahead and placed my sparkles which I cut out with the metallic vinyl um, and I went ahead and put those on each side of the flower just to give the sign an overall finished look And now the final piece, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to its base. Um, so I'm just going to take this base that I uh, showed you guys how I made, apply some super glue there, apply some up the rails, then I'm gonna place a nice little line right here at the bottom. Then I'm gonna take it and sit it right in the glue. Make sure it's even. Boom. Then I'm just gonna take it from the back. I still have the tape on and everything. Just do a little line of glue back here. And here's the final look. I styled it on my dresser in my bedroom and it just fits so perfectly in with my decor and I love the sign and I hope that you guys too and make one for yourself is worth it. <laughs> hey guys, so now we're going to move on to showing you how I made this beautiful modern pillow that you can make to, to sell, to have into your home, to give to gifts because we're almost at holiday season so I hope you enjoy it. As you can see here, I got my Maker 3, and I have my uh, roll holder. Guys, this Maker 3 is tr truly a game changer um, when making things with vinyl. Um, I got my Smart Vinyl here in black, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and create my pillow. I looked up some inspiration online and ended up going with this abstract shape that you'll see in Design Space, and I used that to create my pillow. I then resized my image because the pillowcase is 17 by 17 and I pretty wanted 
pretty much wanted to make it as big as possible because I wanted the pillowcase to be completely covered and give the pillow the big, a big bold look. I went ahead and select make it and then I made sure to select that I was using smart vinyl and I was using the vinyl without the mat which you know that's what smart vinyl is <laughs> then it went ahead and made sure that I had everything correct I had it mirrored and I also had the shiny side down which I did and then I went out ahead and cut my shape and literally the maker three cuts so much faster um, so it literally took a few minutes or a few seconds to get this done so I'm gonna go ahead and load the heat transfer vinyl. You know, shiny side always goes down and you're just gonna slide it through this compartment here. And then I'm gonna slide her into the Cricut. Let's see, ooh, love it, so easy. Then you're gonna line up the vinyl into the machine and just make sure that is even. Looks a little uneven, there we go. She wasn't trying to go in, okay. And then what's beautiful is once your design is done, you can just slice it and boom, you don't have to cut, you don't need scissors, anything. So this is truly amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and have the vinyl go into the machine and we are going to start cutting. So I'm just putting a press on right now for the pillow, um, just to get the crease out. <laughs> so it looks, the design won't have a crease in it. Um, so it's all ready. I'm so excited because this is like a super modern um, pillow design. I decided to do it um, up and down. So it is a little bit close to the ends. Um, but that's how I wanted it. Wanted it to be super modern. And you know, obviously I'm gonna have to heat this up in, in sections. Um, so I'm gonna start at the bottom, then move towards the top. But So I did have to do this in two, in two sections, but ultimately she's ready and it's time to peel. Oh, guys, I love this. It's so modern. Um, it's like a pillowcase that you would actually purchase from a store, not like those holiday themed ones or kind of country chic ones that are usually out there on the internet um, or on YouTube. I love, love, love this. Can't wait to show you guys it filled with the insert, but uh, look at how beautiful this abstract pillow came out. Okay guys, how did you like that video? I love how these fit these pieces fit so well into my apartment. They look so good. They look store bra and I'm just so pleased with them and I hope that you guys can go ahead and make these items for yourself, for your Etsy shops, for your home, for your friend's home, as gifts, whatever. Um, let me know down below if you'd like to see more videos like this because I have a whole lot of, a uh, whole, whole lot of, <laughs> I have a lot of other ideas that would be great for home decor pieces for your home using your Cricut and yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.